Hi, this is Andrew Reversa with Impact Soundworks, and today I'll show you how to use the Pulse Downloader app, or just Pulse for short. First, you'll want to get the app, which works on both Mac and PC, from pulsedownloader.com. Install that and open it up. You'll need to create an account here if you haven't already, and it's separate from your Impact Soundworks account. That's because Pulse stores all of your purchases in the cloud from all developers that use Pulse. It's just one account. As you can see here, I've got libraries from Impact Soundworks, of course, VST Buzz, Production Voices, Fluffy Audio, Red Room Audio, and so on. This is really convenient because you can re-download your purchases from any computer with Pulse installed without needing to go back to your emails or go to multiple developer websites. Let's say I've just purchased our Allura Volume 1 library, which runs in the full version of Contact and not Contact Player. In my email, I see a product code for this instrument. In Pulse, I'll click Add a Product, copy and paste my product code, it appears in my library, so I'll click Install, pick a folder where I want the library to go. We usually recommend an internal hard drive, a solid state drive ideally, and that's it. There's no need to download individual files, unpack anything, merge anything, none of that. It seamlessly and quickly downloads the instruments then automatically unpacks them for you in a nice clean folder. Now what if I instead purchase something like Cinema Sound Foley Library, which does run in Contact Player? We start with the same process. I take my Cinema Sound Foley product code and put it in Pulse. I watch it appear in my library, click Install, and pick where I want it to go. The only other step here is that we have to register the instrument in native access. This is a requirement for all contact player libraries, no matter how they're downloaded. In native access, I'll hit Add a Serial and paste the same product code I used in Pulse. How convenient. Now I go to the Not Installed tab and find Cinema Sound Foley Library, and we'll locate the folder that Pulse downloaded. And that's it, we're good to go. If I open up Contact, I now see Cinema Sound Foley Library in my list of libraries. You might be wondering why we chose to move to Pulse, and away from the old method of zip or rar files. The truth is that it can be a big pain to download libraries manually from the browser, especially bigger ones that might have 10 separate files or more, which all need to be extracted or sometimes merged in the right order. If even one of those files is messed up or corrupted because of the download, the whole library will not work. We've been developing and releasing sample libraries for over a decade, and we've seen how many people struggle with that manual process, particularly if they don't have a good internet connection. With Pulse, this is all handled as seamlessly and smoothly as possible. But what's even more important is the ability to retrieve your purchases from any computer, anytime. You don't need to log in to a whole bunch of different websites either. Once again, you can download Pulse at pulsedownloader.com. Thanks for watching, and we can't wait to show you what inspiring instruments we have for 2020 and beyond.